A county in Georgia is considering limiting the number of dollar stores. And America's best restroom will be chosen from 10 quirky clean finalists. A lady using a gun's laser sight to play with a cat shot her friend. Good times. These are the weird stories for Tuesday on Weird AF News, the only daily weird news podcast hosted by a comedian recorded inside a hot closet. Let's do it. A county in Georgia is considering limiting the number of dollar stores that they have. They must have a lot. Uh, But my question is, can you have too many dollar stores? They're just a lovely place, especially if you're living on a budget like I am. Like many of us are probably living. You know, pandemic life is difficult. All that toilet paper you got to go hoard. Perfect place is the dollar store, right? That's where you go. $50 worth of... Toilet paper at the Dollar General. What does that get you? They get you at least 50 rolls of toilet paper. It's beautiful. I love the Dollar Store so much. So much. Uh, There's some rules about the Dollar Store, though. Here's one of them. You don't buy anything that at one time was alive or is currently alive. Now, they have some food in there that is still alive. Just walk right past that, okay? Don't, Don't give in to the urge to buy that little bag of colorful peppers. Like, you don't want to do it. Certainly don't get the hummus, unless you're a complete maniac. <laughs> yeah, frozen shrimp. Nope, nope. You'll get mad cow disease. This is what I'm talking about. Albany, Georgia. Let's get into the story. Officials in the county are considering placing a limit on the dollar stores that are rapidly multiplying in the area. Wow, they're just popping up all over the place. They're worse than Starbucks. Uh, Some Doherty County commissioners pushed back during a recent meeting when presented with a zoning request to approve yet another Dollar General store at an at an intersection where there's already a family dollar store across the street. So you got Dollar General and family dollar store. They're fighting each other in California. We have the 99 cent store and the Dollar Tree and they fight each other. So it seems like everywhere you go, there's multiple dollar 99 cent stores that are competing they're like buy pregnancy tests from us no 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 buy your pregnancy test here you you should not be buying a pregnancy test at the dollar store just letting you know you can't really trust those pregnancy tests if you're gonna buy a pregnancy test at the dollar store you should buy five of them and then play a best of five series okay if three out of the five say you got a baby on the way then then trust it (laughs) Guys, I'm just trying to help you live life to the fullest. (laughs) The commissioner, Anthony Jones, is quoted as saying, I I think there's a dollar store on every corner around here, man. And he suggests a moratorium on such discount retailers. Jones said he's very concerned that these stores are taking up space that could go to higher quality stores, such as supermarkets that sell fresh food. Hey, you mean to tell me, Jones, that the dollar store doesn't sell fresh food? I've seen it in there. The the level of freshness is definitely in question. (laughs) So Jones and Commissioner Russell Gray both say they also worry that dollar stores have a business model that preys on poor neighborhoods. Yeah, they probably do. But, you know, if you're living in a poor neighborhood, you need this dollar store. You definitely do. I need a dollar store. I go there all the time. I need it. And then, of course, when I try to go to a regular store, I suffer from dollar store mindset. Anyways, so you can take the dollar store out of the hood, but you can't take the dollar store mindset out of my mind. What is that mindset, Jonesy? Well, let's say I'm in a Target and I see, oh, a spatula. Oh, it's eleven ninety nine for this spatula. I immediately think to myself, can I get one at the dollar store for a dollar? <laughs> Why am I going to spend 11 bucks on a spatula or a whisk when I can get it at the dollar store for 99 cents and change? Uh, my goal is to just furnish my entire household with items that if I don't feel like cleaning, I can just chuck them out the window. The dollar store provides this. <laughs> it's the only instance I can feel like like I'm Jeff Bezos. Now, as you know, the dollar store has brands you've never heard of, but it also has brands you have heard of. Uh, but something went wrong with the product along the way, and it ended up in that dollar store. And you got to play this little game while you're there. Like, what is wrong with this product? And can I live with it? (laughs) You say to yourself, I I love Red Bull. I really do. Do I love asparagus flavored Red Bull? America's best restroom is going to be chosen from 10 clean, quirky finalists. 
I didn't even know there was an America's Best Restroom Contest. This is quite exciting. It says here, if you can hold it for a little while longer, there's a really nice bathroom just a few hours from where you live, we'll bet. Sintas is a company currently accepting votes for its America's Best Restroom Contest, an annual celebration of the cleanest, most captivated facilities in the U.S. This year, the top finalists include everything from posh, portable toilets to picturesque public restrooms, each exhibiting their own aesthetic, hygienic, and poetic appeal. I find it hard to believe that a public restroom would make the top ten list, but I trust that they've... uh, They've done their duty in judging these things. I don't know how. Public, public restrooms, pretty terrible in the U.S., I have to say. I've traveled around the world a little bit, and you know, outside the U.S., you can actually find some public restrooms that are acceptable, some even technologically advanced, and so clean it'll make your head spin. Uh, now, typically when I find myself in, a, in an American public restroom, I'm afraid to touch anything, the fear that... Um, Everything in there is going to give me AIDS or something. <laughs> Anybody else feel this way? Have you been to a bathroom at a rest stop? Have you been to a bathroom in the back of a dingy bar on the Lower East Side of Manhattan? I mean, these are places you think you might die. Or at least you look around and wonder, how many people have been murdered in this restroom? That's when I think of American public restrooms. That's what I get. Here's a quote from someone named Sean, who's just a marketing person, very excited about the best restroom contest. Well, we got a diverse list of facilities from across the county vying for the title of America's Best Restroom. (laughs) I tell you, the public is expecting a higher hygiene standard in public restrooms, of course. And we're proud to spotlight these unique restrooms that are well-maintained without sacrificing aesthetic quality. (laughs) I'm so excited. Thanks, dork. Uh, Now in its 20th year, the America's Best Restroom Contest seeks to highlight the best and brightest in the business with an emphasis on cleanliness and innovation. Um, this is according to Sintas, which is the corporation that's judging this contest. Uh, this company supplies uniforms and cleaning products and restroom supplies to various businesses. You may be familiar. Past winners include a self-cleaning restroom in Colorado Springs, a spotless Bucky's bathroom in Texas, and the facilities at the Nashville Zoo, which feature floor-to-ceiling windows looking into the primate and python enclosures. That bathroom sounds amazing. You know, imagine taking a poop while you're watching pythons crawl around. That's a, or, or you're, you're taking a poop while you watch a primate also take a poop and throw it at the window. <laughs> Quite exciting. It's like the idea of like looking through windows at zoo exhibits while I'm in the bathroom. It's a great idea. This year's finalists are nothing to turn up your nose at either. Uh, they got some photos of these bathrooms. Wow, lovely. Oh my, these are beautiful. I'll post these in the Patreon. These pictures there, you guys can get a look. I wish there was a way for all of us to go there and vote ourselves. How do you get on this committee? I want to be on the board of bathroom judge. I've been around, man. I feel like I'm a credible judge of a clean bathroom, an innovative bathroom, a poetic bathroom. The article winds down with a a list of the 10 finalists, including photos. Notable is a portable toilet in Santa Rosa, California. You ought to check this out. It's a dual restroom suite. (laughs) It... It features dimmable lighting and ambient mood music, as well as an exterior inspired by tiny home cottages with a French country flair. (laughs) Hard to imagine they're describing a restroom here. But yeah, and there's a restroom. Restroom apparently in uh, JFK Airport that they say made the top ten. A pizza parlor in Michigan. A Thai restaurant in D.C. Uh, Anyways, you can imagine. This entire bathroom situation reminds me of a conversation I had with a comedian last night who this guy swears by the bidet and he was trying to talk all of us into getting a, a bidet a group of comedians he, he ran through the the cost and the easy installation and I gotta say he's, he's kind of convincing and with the toilet paper shortages that sometimes come about during pandemics I mean I, you would think a, a bidet is something that we should uh, adopt as a way of Toilet lifestyle. (laughs) Any of you guys got one? Call the show, 646-450-2012. Anyone have an exquisite bathroom they would like to share photos of? Please email me, funnyjones at gmail.com. Please keep your pants on. You like podcasts? You're listening to my podcast. Maybe you thought to yourself, I'd like to make a podcast. 
too difficult? No, not with Anchor. Anchor has free creation tools that allow you to record and edit your podcast from your phone or your computer. Anchor distributes your podcast to Apple, Spotify, Stitcher, and more. They have advertising integration, so you can even make a little money off your podcast. Everything you need to make a podcast in one place. Download the free Anchor app or go to anchor.fm to get started. And good luck with your podcast. Good luck with your creation. Good luck with your life, man. A woman using a gun's laser in order to play with a cat shot a friend. This didn't take place in Florida, which is also big news. A Wisconsin woman accidentally shot her pal while using the laser sight on a handgun to play with a cat. A criminal complaint charging the 19-year-old woman with neglect use of a weapon said she was visiting an apartment on Tuesday afternoon where a 21-year-old man had brought a handgun. You know, because when you're hanging out on a Tuesday afternoon, you just want to have your handgun with you. Hey, let's play with the cat and my handgun. What else is there to do on a Tuesday? We're collecting unemployment. Let's make life rich. The woman, who a witness said had been drinking a bit, picked up the handgun, turned on the laser sight, and was pointing it at the floor to get the cat to chase the laser. That was when the gun went off. Of course it did. Little booze. A handgun? What did you think was going to happen? A cat? The man was standing in the doorway, but was shot in the thigh. He left and went into another apartment where the police found him after responding to a 911 call. Why did he go to a new apartment? Well, probably trying to cover up the situation. Trying to save his friend from being arrested. Gives a shit, in other words. A tourniquet was applied to his leg to stop the bleeding before he was taken to the hospital. There's no word on the condition, but authorities say he was facing charges for violating bond conditions that prevented him from having a weapon. Oh, so everybody's wrong in this story. Not supposed to have a weapon. He's on probation of some sort. She's not supposed to be playing with a weapon either, I'd imagine. Not in a house without the safety on. Just playing with a cat and a laser sight. This doesn't seem safe. Just go, just man, what happened to the catnip? Catnip's an enjoyable thing. Or a regular laser that isn't attached to a lethal weapon. That's a thing you could do. What about the little little feather on a string? That, that old fun time with the cat. Can we use things that aren't going to blow up our friends when we play with our pets, please? The woman told police she, saw, she thought the magazine had been taken out of the gun and said it accidentally went off, of course. It doesn't say what they're doing to her. It doesn't say whose cat it was. So Got to get to the bottom of this. And uh, how, How's the condition of the cat? I'd imagine... It was a pretty traumatic experience for the cat, who's more than likely had past experiences with laser pointers and now is going to be traumatized for life. Every time someone whips out a laser pointer, the cat's just going to flee under the couch. Nobody wins in this situation, guys. Nobody wins. The cat has laser pointer PTSD now. This ain't all right. Hey, thank you for being present for an episode of Weird AF News. Couldn't do it without you. I'm going to give some love to Gosh also known as Dynamite Girl, from Adelaide, Australia. She sent me some articles and wrote me a nice long email saying, be well and stay safe, Jonesy. Hope your closet's as safe as a nuclear bunker. (laughs) And a lot of other funny stuff. And so I'm going to give a shout-out and much love to Gosh. Thank you so much. You guys can email me, funnyjones at gmail.com. You can send me articles or whatever you got. Call the show if you feel like you want to express yourself, uh with using audio (laughs) uh, i publish a lot of my calls if they're appropriate uh, which means don't drop too many f-bombs guys keep it try and keep it a little bit pg-13 if you can Uh, number 646-450-2012 that's right you can follow me on the social medias at funny jones on twitter and instagram that's how you do it and if you'd like to support the show, you can uh, buy Jonesy a cup of coffee by going to weirdafnews.com, clicking on the Buy Jonesy a Cup of Coffee banner that's on there. I had someone put that there. I gave them money to put that there. Support the show, guys. Do it up. Five-day-a-week weird news podcast. This is the only one, I think. Uh, so I hope I'm fulfilling a need in your life because after you listen to that mainstream news, my goodness, don't you want to slit your wrist or climb up a building and leap off the damn thing? So a little Weird AF News Uh, after the mainstream news is is healthy, I think, for your mind and your body and your 